So it looks like uh, a boat lost its engine out there and it's being towed in by this other boat, the one next to the dock. And they're holding up this massive yacht from coming in uh, that's behind them. Uh, so that boat that is on the rope, you can sort of see the rope there, is um, being tugged in by that other boat. And right now they're having a hard time getting it over to the dock. And uh, luckily the current's not that strong, but the current is um, taking the big monster boat over toward the brake wall. And um, he can't get too close to there because uh, his boat goes down about like four or five feet into the water. And uh, so he has to stay in the deep water. He can't get over in the shallow water. But looks like they were able to uh, get that boat a little closer to the dock. And they're eventually going to get it tied up. I would guess they're going to tie it up on the inside of the dock, the fuel dock there, not on the outside. That would be a place where they could keep it until it can get towed out of the water or get repaired or whatever needs to happen. Um, but now there's enough room for... Looks like enough room for the massive yacht to come by now. Uh, I refocus my attention to the massive dock uh, yacht uh, docking because the docking experience on these things is pretty crazy. Although um, it's almost easier. That's the irony. It's easier to drive these newer, humongous boats than it is to drive a smaller boat that only has two engines or, you know, uh, uh, two propellers, two... Because these massive boats have these things called bow thrusters in the front that will um, move the front of the boat back and forth. And then some of them have bow thrusters on the back so that they literally will make the boat go sideways. So you have forward and back movements with your main engines, and then you have side to side with your bow thrusters and your stern thrusters. So right now he's uh, turning the boat, so it's gonna be uh, parallel with my boat, and then he's gonna back into this um, um, like slip for the larger boats and you can see this boat is cool I actually get to look at it all the time but it's really cool because it's got it's kind of rare for well I mean a lot of newer boats have this but it has the windows down um, on the actual hull so it has these really thick um, glass that make up part of the hull and so it makes for a better like living room experience and different like bedroom experience when you're sleeping down there. I, I've never been in this boat, so I don't know what's on the other side of those windows, but uh, it's pretty cool. And you can see he's got his bow thruster going to keep him close. You can see that water coming out the side. I mean, those are the stern thrusters and also the engine. And then. You'll see water displaced up near the bow, too, at some point, I'm sure. That's just him keeping the bow so that the boat goes in parallel to the dock. And he just slips right in there. It's uh, pretty amazing how he's able to do that. I'm, I've, I've seen this guy dock quite a bit, and... He seems to be pretty flawless every single time. I'm not even sure he ever touched the bow thruster because I never saw any water displaced up there. But he might not have. Maybe the current was working with him today. Uh, I mean, docking is all about knowing which way the current's going, which way the wind's going, which way the tide's going. Um, it's not all that complicated. It's just a little intimidating if you haven't done it that much. But yeah, then he just basically makes the boat... Oh yeah, these newer boats have a button on them where you just put a button and like it will, the GPS will just keep the boat in, in place just using all the 
various engines, the thrusters and whatnot. So you literally can anchor this boat without even throwing an anchor. You just hit a button up at the helm that says, keep my position, and then the engines do all the work to keep your position. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button.